So I want to talk to you about a pre-start inspection of your chainsaw. So there are some safety features built into the saw that you need as an operator to make certain that they're functioning and in good order. So starting at the top, we have a chain brake. And its, and its function is to stop the chain from turning um, either manually in activation with your hand or by inertia um, if you encounter kickback. Underneath of the muffler is, underneath of the chain brake is the muffler and checking to make certain that the muffler is in good working function and doesn't have any holes, dents, or cracks in it, making certain that the spark arrestor screen is in place because um, fire season is upon us and that's important stuff to, to have in place. Underneath of that, we have a metal or plastic device that's called a chain catcher, and its sole function is to catch this chain if it derails or breaks so it doesn't fly back and hit your leg or climb up your forearm as you're operating the saw. That's also why this rear handle is wider back here to catch that chain in a derailment situation. Um, back here at the trigger, we have an interlock system where your hand must be wrapped all the way around the handle in order to engage the, the throttle. So if you don't have your hand wrapped around here, you shouldn't be able to squeeze the throttle. So this one is functioning correctly. And then an overall inspection of the saw. So we're looking for loose nuts, bolts, and screws, things that um, are gonna ruin our day when we go to work, right? So there's nothing worse than, than going out, and getting all the way to where you're gonna work and you pull on the on the cord and find out that it's frayed and the handle pops off in your hand and you watch that cord suck up into the side of the chainsaw. So inspecting it to make certain that it's not all frayed, chewed up and ready to break. And making certain that all our screws holding everything together are tight and in place. So that's a pre-start inspection. Those are the things that we're looking for um, in order to make certain that our saw is safe to use for the